Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, December the 12th. It's the second week in Advent. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24, and Isaiah chapter 7, verse 10 to 25. And please join me in singing the first verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Once he came in blessing, all our ills redressing, came in like the slowly, Son of God most holy. For the cross to save us, hope and freedom gave Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief. Psalm 31, and please recite it together with me. Have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye consumed with grief. So is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my sins, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all of my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintances, they that see me avoid me. I am forgotten as the dead, out of mind, I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God, I said, you are my God. My times are in your hands, deliver me from my enemies, and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me, save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God, for I have called on you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of mortals. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, for you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart, all of you that hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Have mercy on me, for I am in trouble my eye is consumed with grief. A lesson from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, beginning at verse 10. Again, Yahweh spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Most High your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put you to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals, that you weary my God also? Therefore the Most High himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. 
for before the child knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land before whose two kings you are in dread will be deserted. And the Most High will bring on you and on your people and on your ancestral house such days as have not come since the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, the king of Assyria. On that day the Most High will whistle for the fly that is at the sources of the streams of Egypt and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. And they will all come and settle in the steep ravines and in the clefts of the rocks and on all the thorn bushes and on all the pastures. On that day, the Most High will shave with a razor hired beyond the river with the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the feet, and it will take off the beard as well. On that day, one will keep alive a young cow and two sheep and will eat curds because of the abundance of milk that they give. For everyone that is left in the land shall eat curds and honey. On that day, every place where there used to be a thousand vines worth a thousand shekels of silver will become briars and thorns. With bow and arrows, one will go there, for all the land will be briars and thorns. And as for all the hills that used to be hoed with a hoe, you will not go there for fear of briars and thorns, but they will become a place where cattle are let loose and where sheep tread. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning, for you are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.